This one is Nelson Street National School. Always the big high doorways. And this would presumably be the teacher. Maybe not. Maybe a parent. This is Wilton Street National School. High windows, arched. And again, the sort of pinafore, and again the high doors. And there are those youngsters wearing shoes. I just can't see. I don't think they are. The next selection of glass negatives are doubles and there's one that has three. So this is Fourth River Primary School. No, Fourth River National School. And there's a figure, two figures standing in front of the middle window. Didn't notice them before. Wonder how close in I can get. Oh, before it goes fuzzy. And the second one of Fourth River. A smaller school this time. And, uh, are there slits off the roof there, possibly? Or is that a window? Hmm. Don't know. Again, fence round. This is Springfield National School on a bit of a slope. Somebody wheeling a pram there. And the school populace is out for the photograph. And Springfield Road National School from just another angle and there's a broken down wall there and the youngsters at the front sitting down in typical school photograph fashion. And this is wonderful. This is an inside view of a national school at that time. This is Broadway National School. And I know a man well who went to Broadway National School. 
And in those days, uh, there were no separate classrooms. It was a big hall, and young ones were educated in the same big hall as we ones, and you were divided into separate groups, and uh, you had mentors, you had older youngsters teaching younger ones, because the um, the the class the, the teacher just couldn't do it all on his own or all on her own, and you had strict discipline. It's almost Dickensian. This is another one of Broadway National School and these youngsters seem to be better dressed than those that we've seen previously or maybe they've put the best dressed ones closer to the front, front for the photograph all the faces from the past and there's the uh, the schoolmaster watching over them in case anybody sticks out their tongue or something like that another couple of uh, pictures uh, from uh, inside a school building this is Duncairn National School look at them all seated in rows close packed together and this group of girls is, is up for maybe reading out loud and it's, it's, it is, as I say, very Oliver Twistish. There's the teacher standing up at the front with a blackboard and this looks as if it, it might be used as a church on Sundays because that's how most of these national schools started is that a pulpit up there? I just don't know and this is just shot from another angle this is again Duncairn Gardens a primary school and there's a precious few adults about the place. I can see one gentleman here. The discipline must have been... Oh, there's a lady over here. The discipline must have been very uh, tight. I would say the cane was very much in evidence. You didn't move or speak unless you were told. And it would have to be like that. There's, is that a lady standing there? Because you can imagine this group of youngsters getting out of control. And they've all got their heads down. There's no nobody looking over their shoulder and, and at the camera. And there's nobody smiling or laughing. There's another teacher away in the background, I think. So we've got one, two, three, four five teachers and there must be easily a hundred youngsters in there. I'm coming near the end of um, this collection. This is North Thomas Street National School and this is the entrance way. It's like going into a, a, a black tunnel. Hmm. 
very strange entrance. And again, entry or passage into uh, North Thomas Street National School. And this is the last national school um, negative glass negative that I've got for you. And again, this shows the entrance passageway into North. What's the name of it again? It's uh, North Thomas Street National School, and it's there above the 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 doorway. And again, youngsters in their bare feet. Now it's no wonder that so many of these youngsters were susceptible to so many diseases living in these cramped conditions and cold conditions. And for many of them, probably school was was a great place to be, where they could have a laugh or two with their mates, even though the discipline was, I would believe, would be quite harsh. <laughs> 